I was thrown out by my uncle in 2015, a family feud and we fell out. I was studying English at the university in Abidjan, the economic capital. I came here after high school because my parents were poor, lived far away from the university and couldn't afford education fees. My uncle was my only family in the city. I didn't know what to do when he kicked me out, so I called the guy I knew and asked if I could stay. Obviously he said yes, but then tried to force himself on me in return. The memory is abhorrent and I left to protect my dignity. I fell alone and convinced that I couldn't make it in life because education was so expensive. I realized the obstacles that a girl without any financial support could face. I felt bitter about the unfairness. I didn't choose to have poor parents. With many young girls never completing secondary school in my country, I soon realized I had three options. Give up on school and work to get by. Accept the rich man proposal and become a housewife overnight or hustle to keep studying and make my parents proud. Obviously, I chose the last. So I slept on campus tables and this is not just a story, it's my story. I studied and I worked hard. I sold things and homeschooled children to earn money. Sometimes I wasn't even paid. <laughs> I was desperate to prove my uncle wrong. And I promised myself that if I succeeded, I would help other girls in Africa reach their goals and potential, regardless of their economic background. And then things started to change. One day, I had the guts to explain what happened to me, uh, to my friend Samira who then offered to house me. And around that time, I also met Jordan. Uh, he worked at the World Bank at that time and agreed to become my mentor. He provided me with guidance and support and helped me become a better version of myself. He got me an internship at the World Bank and I started saving so much money <laughs> and helped drop out girls in my spare time. One thing led to another, and I'm proud to tell you that in 2016, I set up an amazing NGO called IWA, Empowering Women in Africa. And this was my way of fighting inequality through education. I also founded Benizanga Training, a language institute that works with 700 learners in Africa. Our revenue funds my NGO, which help parents foot tuition fees to educate their daughters. We find girls' mentors and role models and ensure they attend school until they have at least the high school diploma. And this year, we decided to go beyond that, just helping girls going back to school. We are now helping unemployed ladies find jobs through educating them on how to use technology because I think digital literacy is a real issue. Our mission is to close the digital divide, enable women to use new technology and become more competitive in the labor market. Between 2016 and 2022, empowering women in Africa has helped educate 56 um, girls go back to school and get a high school diploma. Two girls have gone on to university and more recently one has become a nurse. So far this year, we've helped 19 unemployed ladies. One young world, you are giving me the opportunity to meet outstanding leaders. Join me and help me to help others fight inequality through education. You can start now by choosing to sponsor a child through education or by simply sharing your skills and becoming mentors to disadvantaged people in your country too. If you heard me today, just bear in mind something really important to me. The socio-economic situation of your parent will not define who will become tomorrow. Here is Bini Bintu Sisei, and I'm from Cote d'Ivoire.